So maybe you're thinking about transitioning into cybersecurity as a career, and you're wondering what are the roles available in cybersecurity. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the six roles in cybersecurity, your expectations, qualifications and certifications associated with these roles that you'll be earning, either as a prerequisite for the roles or to have them as you're advancing in your career in the cybersecurity roles. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. The first role is security analyst and a security analyst is often the entry level role in cybersecurity responsible for monitoring and organization networks and systems for suspicious activities. So you will be using tools like security monitoring tools to detect potential threats and to respond to this security incidents. So there are three main certificates that are typically prerequisites or things that you are recommended to go ahead and take them during your career within the first couple of years as a security analyst. The first one is CompTIA Security Plus. This is like your go to certification if you're just getting started in cybersecurity. It covers the fundamentals, stuff like network security, risk management, threats, vulnerabilities. Think of it as a broad overview of the core things you need to know to get into the field. So a lot of people start with Security Plus because it's recognized and gives you a good foundation without going too deep into any one area. Another highly recommended certificate is Certified Security Operations SOC Analyst. This one's a little more specific. If you want to work in a security operations center where you monitor networks, detect threats, and respond to incidents, the CSA is designed for you. It focuses on a hands-on, day-to-day stuff of being a SOC analyst, like analyzing logs, responding to alerts, and using security tools. So you are a frontline defender in a cyber battle. CompTIA CYSA, which is Cybersecurity Analyst Plus. Now, CYSA Plus is a step up from Security Plus and goes deeper into cybersecurity analysis. So if you've got some experience on your belt and want to focus more on the detective side of things, CYSA Plus is your jam. This is probably the most exciting role and highly sought after role, which is penetration testing. So basically you are a white hat hacker. You're simulating real world attacks to find vulnerabilities in systems, networks and application. This role involves ethical hacking and you'll be checking and seeing whether the security measures are working effectively and then to recommend security improvements. So what are the certificates associated with being a penetration tester? So one, you have the beginner cert, which is the certified ethical hacker. So this is the entry level hacking certification. It teaches you how to think like a hacker so you can defend against attacks. You learn the basics of ethical hacking techniques, things like scanning networks, exploiting vulnerabilities, and how to break into systems or legally, of course. It's great if you're new to penetration testing and want a structured way to get started. OSCP. This is the real deal when it comes to hands-on hacking. You're not just learning theory here. You're thrown into real-world scenarios. They give you a network and you have to hack your way through it to pass. It's like a hacking boot camp where you're actually getting into machines and systems. And it's a reputation for being tough. So when you have it, people know you've got solid practical skills. Next up, we have GIAC Penetration Tester. So this is another solid cert from GIAC, which is a well-respected in the security world. It's a mix of hands-on and theory, kind of bridging the gap between CEH and OSCP. Next up, we have security engineers. So this is also considered another entry-level position in cybersecurity. And your job is to build, deploy systems into the organization, like setting up firewalls, intrusion detection systems, antivirus, and possibly introduction of security automation to protect against unauthorized access and attacks. So what are the certificates associated with a security engineer? So come to your Security Plus. This is the entry-level certificate that I was just sharing with you. There there are also others that you can go for. So the second one is CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner. So this is like the big boss certification from CompTIA. So if you want to go beyond the basics, if you've been cybersecurity for a while and you want to focus more on the advanced hands-on side of things, CASP Plus is your thing. It's not management focus, unlike CISSP, which we'll go through in a moment, but rather for people who want to go deep into the trenches of technical work. So you cover topics like enterprise security, handling complex IT environments. So if your type would like to solve complex, complicated security problems, this is a great cert for you to go for. Another beginner certificate is GIAC Security Essential. So this is more foundational. 
at a level that's practical for people already working in IT or security. It covers a wide range of security topics like networking, encryption, instantly handling, and, and more. So this is something that you can go for if you're looking for something that is well-rounded as a security cert. Next up with Cloud Security Engineer. This is the highest paid, most sought after skill right now, which is why there is an annual salary of $128,457 on average for a Cloud Security Engineer. So more and more businesses are increasingly moving their workloads into cloud infrastructure and cloud security engineers are in demand to secure cloud platforms, whether they're on Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud Platform. You are responsible for configuring cloud environments, managing security policies, and ensuring data protection and compliance in the cloud. So what are the certificates associated with the cloud security engineer role? The number one is Certified Cloud Security Professional. This is a gold standard if you want to be a cloud security expert across multiple platforms. It's vendor neutral, so it covers security concepts, best practices, regardless of whether you're working on AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. So you'll learn about cloud architecture, security operations, legal issues, and more. It's a bit heavy on theory, but a solid choice if you're aiming for a strategic role and managing cloud security for organizations. The other three certificates are certificates associated with the security of the specific cloud platform. So in this case, you have your AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. So go for them depending on the organization you're working for. So perhaps they need specialization or specialty in some of their workloads depending on where they deploy them. Next up, we have security architects. So security architects create and implement security strategies and frameworks to ensure an organization infrastructure is secure. So you'll be designing network defenses, implement secure systems, develop policies to protect against evolving cyber threats. CISSP, this is the gold standard for overall cybersecurity knowledge. If you want to go beyond the technical side and get into management or leadership roles in security, this is the cert. It covers a ton of topics from risk management and governance to software development. If you're aiming to be the go-to security expert in the company, or you want to move into roles possibly in the future, like Chief Information Security Officer, CISSP gives you the broad strategic knowledge. It's recognized everywhere and shows that you understand and not just how to secure systems, but how to manage and oversee the whole security process and programs. Next, we have Certified Information Systems Auditor. So this is more focused on auditing, assessing, and controlling information systems. So you want to make sure a company's IT systems meet compliance standards, manage risk, and work efficiently, this is the cert to get. It's ideal if you want to get into auditing, IT governance, or risk management. It's less hands-on, and more about the oversight and review process. There are also certified solutions architect, either associate or professional, say for example, from AWS. And this is a particularly popular cert because it's all about designing and deploying scalable, secure applications on AWS. So you learn how to architect solutions and make the best use of AWS services while considering things like security, cost and performance. So it's a must have if you're working with specific environments. Security consultants provide expertise on best practices for securing an organization's assets. You will be performing security assessments, recommend improvements, and help implement stronger security controls. And typically, you're coming in from an external view. So you want to get these best practices from the industry and help them apply to your customer's organization. So we mentioned about CISSP, that's also CISM, for if you want focus on managing the security stakeholders, it's less about hands-on technical stuff and more about how you build and run certain security programs. So you'll learn how to align security strategies with business goals, manage risks, and oversee security programs. And likewise, we also have CISA, which was mentioned earlier about auditing, governance, and ensuring that an organization's IT and security controls are effective. And finally, you can also be a hacker, be a professional hacker. Your salary is uncapped. <laughs> okay, just kidding. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable, something useful. If you like this type of videos, remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can be kept abreast of even more cybersecurity tips as well as practical tutorials coming your way. So take care and see you next time.